And uh, wait a minute. I think I think we'll bring this matter up again some other time. One reads, please, no empty chairs. She asked for that inscription because she knew. I really reached the point where I said, I, 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 I give up. I just want what you want. And then uh, you get an answer. There are the prodigal son who, when he was returning, he, he rushed out to meet, to yes, meet him. And so what you could tell is even though the the, the, uh, that's the advice we give uh, to these people and to all of us who are struggling. Uh, uh, nobody else did it, but he said, wait a minute, uh, and uh, my companion and I, what we are saying, you'll have, a you'll have a family someday. At that girl, I'll get her faith, <laughs> and uh, I'm, t I'm telling you, a patriarchal blessing, uh, it, I would take it very, very seriously. Them to be better than they are <laughs> and that they can be. I see not a member of the church said, uh, we all, <laughs> we may not all have been in the meeting where Elder Iring spoke, but I want to tell you, we didn't hear Elder Iring. We heard the voice of God. <laughs> okay. And uh, what I'm telling you is uh, there is a way, there is a way the Lord will help you to be able to be bold in the sense of declaring what you know to them to some degree. Enough that the president of the university said, we didn't hear Elder Iring, we heard the voice, <laughs> the voice of God.